Okay, so this is demo video two for unit two, and I want to just discuss with you um, the first steps for how you're going to start working on your image. This is my little drawing figure. If you're ever in my office and you see it, um, he sits on my desk or on my shelf, and I just took a picture of him sitting on a piece of paper. This picture was taken with my iPhone, really simple and high enough quality for this assignment for sure. So first step is to choose a selection tool. Um, as we've discussed in previous assignments, you can use the lasso tools. You can try using the magnetic lasso tool, which is fun. Um, you can try and use the magic wand, quick selection. Try them out, see which one works best for you. For me, I think I'm going to try the mag magnetic lasso tool today. So I want to just select around my little dude's body. And once I have him selected, I can actually start cleaning him up. And with this magnetic lasso tool, it's actually very handy because whenever you want to make sure it goes the correct direction, you're able to click to kind of guide it. So see how it messed up right there? If I'd actually been a little slower, taking a little bit more care, I could have selected to make sure it went the correct direction. Yeah, this will take some cleaning up here in a minute. The polygono lasso tool is always a good option as well. Um, it's actually the one I use more often because it's what I learned to use when I first started using Photoshop. Keep in mind also you're able to continue um, using different things like the quick mask tool to refine your selection further. So even though mine for instance has quite a few blemishes and places that need cleaning up. There is hope yet to make this a clean selection. For the sake of this demo though, I'm not going to clean it up to the speculations I usually would. I'm just going to get it pretty close. Okay. So here's my selection, pretty good for a first go. I'm going to, by dragging this to the new layer tab, make a new a copy of this layer just so we can go back to it for reference later on. So now that I actually have this selection, I'm going to click the quick mask button right over here on the left side of your screen and come in here and kind of see what changes I needed to make. It's not too bad. I can make these changes with the Refine Edge tool. We've also discussed this already. Just kind of play with that a little. See if we can get it to work. If you hold down your Option Alt key, it will work on removing areas that are unnecessary for your selection. It's not the easiest way, especially with my colors being so close to each other, but the magnetic lasso tool and the refine edge tools work best whenever you're using a high contrast image. This one's not as high of contrast as I would like. I can use my polygon lasso tool, though, and holding down the option alt key, I can actually exclude areas by coming back in here and clicking around and deselecting some areas. So for sure this part, as well as down the leg here and whatnot. And so I don't want the base in my image. I think that it works better if I actually would just have him free floating. I think the only other place really that needs cleaning up is his neck. 
Again, guys, I expect y'all to look so much better because y'all have time to work on these, and I'm doing this as a quick demo so you can get from start to finish working on yours. Alrighty. So, do as I say, not as I do. This is not the quality of the work I expect y'all to produce. This is just a demo and a very slightly rough example of one. So now that I have my selection made, I'm going to come up here and select the inverse and delete it out. We can see a few places that I messed up, like on his leg. I also forgot to exclude this area here, so I'm actually going to, by holding shift, add this selection to the part that I'm deleting. So selecting this little area and just delete it out again. All right, so that is a good start on my selection. At this point, I'm going to make copies of this layer so I can start doing different things to it by adding in some higher contrast to start getting some nice shadows and whatnot forming in my character. So in the next demo, we're going to start getting after some contrast and start making some pop art.